country that is closely related to Buddhist religion. The majority of the populations in Thailand are Buddhist and are engaged in activities such as going to temple. Although some of the activities seem non-relevant to Buddhism, people still do believe in these superstitions. An amulet is considered to be one of the superstitious beliefs since it has recently grown in popularity. Today, we will explore the topic of amulet in Thailand, what it is, what it meant for, compared to the perceptions that the society has today. Thai amulets or Kung Lang is an image of the sacred Buddha, which is worn on the person's neck. It is usually cast out of a mold or carved out of various materials. But the most common traditional ones are those manufactured from a mixture of many different ingredients, pressed in a mold and baked. Thai amulets can come in all different shapes, size, form, and thickness. They are largely manufactured by older Buddhist monks. คือสมัยก่อนเนี่ยการสร้างรูปสัญลักษณ์อะไรต่างๆเนี่ยสมัยพระเจ้าไม่มีแต่เมื่อพุทธศาสนามาเจริญในสมัยของพญามีลินทะพญามีลินทะหรือเมนานเดอร์เมนานเดอร์ในภาษากรีกเขาก็เลยเอ๊ะจะสร้างอะไรดีเพราะว่ากรีกเนี่ยเขาเคารพสิ่งใดก็จะสร้างอย่างเช่นที่พระเจ้าต่างๆที่กรีกสร้างเช่นซีที่พระเจ้าซีอุสอะไรต่างๆที่เขาสร้างขึ้นก็เลยว่าเอ๊ะจะต้องสร้างรูปพุทธเจ้าขึ้นเพื่อเป็นที่ขอบสการะบูชาเลยเกิดการสร้างพุทธรูปครั้งแรกในสมัยวิลิมครับต่อมาเมื่อประเทศหันมากับประเทศไทยเราเมื่อประเทศไทยเราหันมานับถือพุทธศาสนายอมรับพระพุทธศาสนาเข้ามาในประเทศไทยแล้วการสร้างพุทธรูปก็ได้รับอิทธิพลจากนั้นมาด้วยพระชินคือที่มีที่สุดของการสร้างที่มีชื่อเสียงในประเทศไทยมันมีความสมบูรณ์ในเรื่องของความยาวนานและมีความสำคัญในการสร้างที่มีชื่อเสียงในประเทศไทยในขณะที่การสร้างที่มีชื่อเสียงในประเทศไทยมันมีความสำคัญในการสร้างที่มีชื่อเสียงในประเทศไทยในขณะที่การสร้างที่มีชื่อเสียงในประเทศไทยมันมีความสำคัญในการสร้างที่มีชื่อเสียงในประเทศไทยในขณะที่การสร้างที่มีชื่อเสียงในประเทศไทยมันมีความสำคัญในการสร้างที่มีชื่อเสียงในประเทศไทยในขณะที่การสร้างที่มีชื่อเสียงในประเทศไทยในขณะที่การสร้างที่มีชื่อเสียงในประเทศไทยในขณะที่การสร้างที่มีชื่อเสียงในประเทศไทยในขณะที่การสร้างที่ The first step in making a clay amulet is to mix all the ingredients thoroughly. The exact mixture of the ingredients is usually kept in secret. Afterwards, it is pressed onto a previously designed frame. And the last and the most important step in making amulets is to cast spells. A group of very skilled and respected monks gather and cast spells in temples, but many Buddhists can be involved in watching and praying. The process of making an amulet in Thai culture is traditionally considered very sacred and delicate. It's not for a specific reason, but just this was pretty because I just wear it. This is just <laughs> luck, right? But Amulets don't possess any real powers. Everything revolves around the law of karma. If we do evil deeds, no amulet can help us escape our fate. Amulets are for our peace of mind only. Also collecting amulets, but not amulets of Thailand, amulets of Austria. The different churches, the different places, and a holy man. We have also much in, in, in Catholic, we have many uh, Catholic uh, holy. And they are all different on this. This aluminium, they are from brass, from copper, and I collect this. And so I am interested in the amulet here also, but I don't, cannot read. Chopra is literally translated as borrowing an amulet, but it actually 
be first who asks buying an amulet. It is a euphemism used to less offend the Buddhists, since buying and selling with money is considered an immoral act for the religion. I started the amulet business because I liked it. I studied the business and how it functioned for a while. After I had enough knowledge of what I was going to do, I finally opened my own amulet shop, which is now 30 years of age. These amulets are from a person who buy from temples and also some ordinary people. I then buy from them and sell it off for some profits. They are a combination of real and fake here, but I can't clarify what to what. Most people who buy these as to collect, worship, or even as a ceremony for the thing we embrace. The amulets that I trade benefits consumers in general. There are different groups of consumers who buy these amulets. They classify into three different groups. The wealthy, the believer, and the traders. Each group of these consumers has a different purpose, such as for profit, a sign of prosperity, or for purely religious beliefs. The amulet is often worn around the person's neck. People wear amulets to protect themselves against disease, witchcraft, and accidents. The older the amulet is, the protective power increases as well. Some people say that wearing it is just to help with their remembrance of the Lord Buddha to help them avoid sins in their daily life, because wearing it gives them a sense of Buddha being there with them to remind them of the things to do and not to do. Over three years ago, one type of a particular amulet, the Tukam, gained a lot of attention from the media concerning its power and value. The Tukam is an amulet depicting an image of the Parnarai, a Hindu god, the emperor of the Southern Sea. It was created during the installations of the city pillar in the Khonsi, Kamaran. The amulet market is considered a large industry in Thailand. The amulet industry includes the manufacture of Buddha image, case, box, and neck chains, as well as advertising and the sale of books and magazines related to amulet. Back in 2002, the industry was worth 10 billion baht, and today it is worth more than 40 billion baht. In Thailand alone, there are at least 5,000 market stalls and shops. The traditional amulet market is located in areas such as Haprajan, Wat Mahathat, and Wat Rashinatta. Today we see amulet stalls and shops even in department stores. The market involves approximately 5 million people. The philosophy behind the Buddhist religion is that it is founded on the basis of consciousness. An individual must consciously be awake and aware of the things in the environment, as well as their thoughts and actions. Amulets were originally made for this purpose, to remind the wearer of their consciousness. Having said that, there are those who still strongly believe in superstitions. Sayasa refers to the black magic and the superstitious beliefs. It is often confused with Buddhism, but in fact, it is one of the beliefs of the Brahma religion. Black magic contradicts to the Buddhist philosophy in that it is founded on the basis of unconsciousness. ใครมีเงินก็ไม่หามาได้ก็เคลื่อนใช้เพื่อเป็นเครื่องมือแสวงหาลาภสกรรมหรือเป็นพุทธนาวิทย์พุทธภาพนี้เต็มรูปแบบ
amulets are made into the image of Buddha and are sold in a wide variety of price. Buddhism does not promote a value materialism, but some of these amulets are sold in such an extraordinary expensive price. People in general should reflect back on the real purpose of having an amulet, while collectors may see it as an a hobby or art. They should not forget the real purpose of having an amulet as well.